Hi everyone, welcome back to another Twin Flame Soulmate Soul Connections Love Reading. Today we're going to take a look at what's going on with you and your person. So I did a little reading for myself just to see what my collective is feeling like these days or how you guys are doing. Um, so the energy is pretty much about, you know, being ready uh, for this connection, really being ready, having done the work, um, and still feeling conflicted, still feeling, or this could be your person, still feeling conflicted, um, wanting to know why things are not happening the way that you want them to happen or why things are just not happening. Why is this connection there still? And why there's nothing happening? So there's a lot of that happening with the collective. Um, you know, some of you feel like, wow, you know, I'm proud of myself. I did all the work. Everything's done. I mean, I've healed from a lot of things. I've purged a lot of things. I've released a lot of things and still nothing is happening and still I feel this connection. Why do I still feel connected to this person and nothing is happening? So that's basically, might not resonate with you guys, so it's just a general energy pull that I did just before the, the reading. So now I'm going to take a look at what your energy is like with this person, okay? What's the shared energy like? right now something is happening okay something is coming into being okay so we see the baby and we see um, the man or, or angel or whoever looking over at the baby Okay, so we're birthing something new here. It doesn't have to be a baby. It could be a new relationship, it could be a new job, but this is the energy exchange. Is that something, something is born, even if you don't see it. Something is being birthed, okay? This connection, this newness, this new energy is, is, is coming. So the seeds have been planted and things are growing. Okay, the seeds have been planting, planted. So if you're wondering what's going on with your person, things are happening behind the scenes. So you might not see that right away. Um, the things that are happening, you might not see that right away. Okay, <laughs> let's go look with some tarot. So it's always about wondering what's going on here. Many of you are in separation with your person or it's, it's really, really silent or very minimal communication here, but things are happening. All right, let's look with some tarot. Let's look at some tarot. Uh -huh. Three of cups. I've seen this card this morning as I was putting my cards away. <laughs> so three of cups. So that's an energy for today. Um, the weekend is coming up. So some people may be having uh, get-togethers, having fun with friends. Two of cups. Wow. Union with this person. There is union coming with this person. You guys have a very, very spiritual connection. You are best friends. You're best friends with this person or you're very close. Even if you're not best friends right now, you could be like not even speaking to each other, but this energy is what's surrounding both of you. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So we could, this could be a third party situation as well with the Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. And we do have the Four of Cups. So what I'm getting is that your person is not, if your person is with someone right now, it's not, the person is not, your person is not very happy, okay? 
that is not exactly what they want. They don't, you know, like, this queen of pentacles, that is this karmic partner or karmic energy with your person right here, is not necessarily, um, the love isn't there anymore, or maybe there is love there, um, but it's it's not this. Okay, it's not this. And so this is not for everybody. So that's for one group. Another group of you, your person is just really wanting this now with you, okay? They are eventually coming to speak to you. You either will see them at a party or, you know, um, your person sees you as this very, very stable, nurturing mom, okay? Or um, just very nurturing energy. Somebody who um, takes care of others. They feel nurtured by you. They, um, they like to be in your energy whenever they can. Uh, that's what they want. This is what they're praying for. They're praying for this with you. You know, this is what they want. This is their dream, you know? And then there are all these other possibilities for them that are not like this, but sometimes some of these masculines or your some of these people want to just, they feel like it would be simpler with just the regular cups, you know? And this could be intense for them and could be a little bit scary. But they feel like this with this cup right here, okay? This cup right here, this is what, how they see this cup, okay? They see it as the most beautiful connection. Um, they have a lot of fun with you. They, they maybe not, they maybe didn't tell you this, but they really, really enjoy your company. Um, they enjoy your energy. Okay, so let's take a look with some more tarot. I hope this is resonating with you guys. Let's look with some more tarot cards. It's not going to be a super long reading. I have so many readings to do. <clears throat> so my English viewers... <laughs> I do have a Patreon page that is going to be uh, is going to be up soon. Okay, um, I'm going to be posting for now my French videos, so French um, readings for all signs, all the different signs. You guys will get a here on YouTube. You'll get a a collective reading for September on Patreon. There'll be the French uh, readings for each sign. And I don't know, I mean, I want to use Patreon in English as well. Um, so you guys let me know, my English viewers. I know I don't have very many. So you tell me if you are going to be interested in subscribing to my Patreon so that I know if I start now doing English videos or do I wait a bit until I build more of my English audience. Anyway, I know it sounds like, I don't know. I don't know if any of you would are gonna be interested in joining my Patreon channel, but um, anyway, I'll see what you guys think. You let me know. Thank you for liking the videos. Um, it does help for the sharing of the videos when I get many likes on the video I'm not pressuring anybody it just it does have get my video to be shared on YouTube more so I can build my English audience more it's never gone up so I don't know anyway for now patreon will be in French and then I'll see I definitely want to do it in both languages so my intention eventually YouTube will remain in both languages though okay what's going on with you guys right now cats coming back we have the world let me just open the door for my cat 
So we have the world card. Just one second. Okay, sorry about that. It's getting cold out there, so he doesn't stay out there as long. We've got the Ten of Earth. Seven of Air. So Ten of Earth is Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Air is Seven of Swords. And we have Transformation. You guys, what I'm getting is your person is um, your person is trying to find ways of keeping you around and finishing the work that they have to get done within themselves. So your person is yeah, your person's world has changed. Okay, you either either you or your person are coming into some financial abundance very very soon okay money is coming in what i'm getting um for you guys this is uh either for you or your person but if this is you your world is completely something is happening something is really changing in your life right now this abundance is going to bring in a lot of opportunity a lot okay and it's going to um, just change a lot of things within this connection for both of you, okay? Your person is also trying to find a way to be able to contribute and contribute to this Ten of Pentacles, this abundance as well between the two of you. Your person feels a lot like it, money is an important factor, okay? Some people feel like that. Um, you can't really fault people for feeling like that as they were uh, born and raised uh, thinking this way. So it's the old programming about, you know, you can't. Uh, your person is probably measuring themselves or have always measured success in life with money. Okay, they've always associated success with money. You know, somebody who makes money is successful and they uh, maybe don't feel as successful if they don't make enough or feel like they don't make enough. They want this abundance. They're looking for strategies to make this happen. A lot of things are changing in your person's life and your person is realizing that abundance comes when we are open to it, when we have healed, when... Um, we are not in the lack mentality, and this is changing for your person. Your person is starting to come out of that lack mentality, which is just always, always thinking about money, 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 you know? When we're always thinking about it, that's when we get into that lack mentality. I don't have enough. I need to make more. I don't have enough. So that's what I'm getting. Also... Um, abundance is coming your way. I'm not kidding. Um, you guys are, you and your person are going to really go through a lot of changes together in this connection. What's what I'm getting? Union is coming. Definitely union is coming. But your person, I feel there's a money, uh, there's something about money here. I'm just gonna go look a little bit further with these cards here. Man. Sorry about that. Your person is still in their head, okay? So it could be you and your person thinking a lot, okay? A lot of thought. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. I also have Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. We've got the Two of Wands, okay. Two of Wands, Page of Swords, King of Wands, and we have Five of Swords. Your person, they're still, your person is um, 
having to make decisions. They feel like they have to make huge decisions. They feel like they have to make huge a huge decision. They they this is coming, okay? They're still checking things out. They're still checking you out. They're still making sure of the situation. They're not 100% sure that this is that they can do this, you know? They're not 100%. Um they there is a fear of being disappointed um your person may have gone through already some past disappointments with other people we have sagittarius leo aries king of wands is someone who is ready okay who's getting themselves ready to come forward okay but there's this little thing that's keeping them from so the five of swords right under under the seven of swords so there is an element of really being careful about where they're going so that there is no more deception because they do feel like they have disappointed you just one second my cat is driving me nuts this morning i don't know what he wants <laughs> he's always he always does this during my readings often anyway <laughs> um so right now your person is checking you out, trying to see if they will be able to make the right decision. They feel ready, but there's just like, I have to make sure, you know, I have to be sure, I have to make sure because I do not want to mess this up. I don't want to mess this up. This person may have messed this, this connection in the past. They might have messed it up. Hold on a sec. Sorry about that, you guys. Two interruptions. <laughs> okay. So that's what I'm getting. But the, your person is really getting ready, okay? They're feeling ready. They're getting ready. Um, and this could be you as well. Your energy of being ready. Like we, I've see, I saw this before the reading in your energy that you guys are ready. Um, but your person is also really getting ready or they're on their way really on their way to being ready so this is not going to resonate for everybody you know let's take a look with my new mystic moon cards <laughs> let's see if we have messages from your person from your masculine let's see if we have messages from him or her about how they feel about this connection messages please your beauty still moves me wow so your person really I wish I could take back the things that I said I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions so this comes back to the five of swords energy right here that things may have happened in the past where your person did something they either they it just grew silent or they made you they made it clear that they were not interested or they just left this connection they disappointed you somehow they might have said something to hurt you in the past um, they were lying to you <laughs> when they told you um i wish i could take back the things that i said they regret there's a regret i find you then what i know now i would have made different choices so your person did make some kind of choice in the past they might have chosen someone else over you in the past and they are feeling deep regret for that um, they might have thought the that the grass would be greener with someone else that it would be easier with someone else and they realized that they didn't get exactly what they wanted with that other person Wow, that's what I'm getting and I'm going to get 
some last messages from my oracle cards for you from your person. Let's see what else your person would like for you to know. What would my viewer's person like for them to know right now, please? Last messages. Let's see. What would your person like for you to know? We've got, you are my heart and my guiding light. You're very important. I know that we are so much stronger together. Look at that. When you're near me, all is calm. So, when you're near me, all is calm. Your person just really dreams about you. They love you, you're on their mind a lot, okay? They're checking you out. They're feeling like they need to make a decision rather quickly with the wands energy. It's quick energy. It's like urgent energy. So that's what I have for you guys today for the weekend. I'll be back in a couple of weeks, in two weeks for you guys with your personal reading and all that. I hope it resonated. Thanks for hitting the like button if it did and subscribing to my channel and I will talk to you very soon. Take care, bye-bye.